Have you guys seen or heard about these apocalyptic deluge storms that have hit parts of Europe? In particular, England and Germany. We're talking about a few months worth of rain that was dumped onto highly populated areas in less than an hour. It has been described as biblical and this has only just begun and is a strong reminder to us that the forces of the earth are not to be taken for granted. We never seen these storms coming. There was no real warning it was going to happen on this scale. Yet in the very ancient times, we did get the warnings of deluge and of the great flood. This reminds us of a much more modern person who in fact warned us of certain events in recent history, like the rise of Hitler and 9-11. We can't help but wonder how Nostradamus knew or even foreseen these events. Could he in fact have been using the Akashic records? Wait till you hear this. Predicting future events is impossible, but at key points in history, there have been human beings who have told us of the future. We either ignore these warnings or don't take them seriously at the time and they unfold before our very eyes. And we suspect this will continue to be the case. Nostradamus describes an event in this way. Two birds will fall from the sky on the metropolis. The sky will burn at 45 degrees latitude. Fire approaches the great new city. Immediately, a huge scattered flame leaps up within months. Rivers will flow with blood. The undead will roam the earth for little time. This was known to us before the attacks on the World Trade Center, but how could we ever have thought this would be the location or even that this would be done using planes? He described what he's seen, meaning he envisioned this, and to the best wording of his time, wrote what he saw. This was accurate, but only in the context that we have placed it. Is it really describing the New York attacks? It is obvious, however, that Nostradamus was making himself lucid in his dream time for the purpose of traveling to a realm in the universe where all knowledge of events past and present not only exist, but are available almost at will to view by anyone who knows the secret of visiting such a place. This was something he practiced throughout his life and it took him to this realm where he could tap into and see future events. But what brought this man's attention to such a realm? How did he discover the Akashic records? Was this something that he stumbled upon in his student years or was he guided to this knowledge for a higher purpose? In order to further explore and understand why he did this, we must first understand who Nostradamus was, where he came from, and how he came to be. Born in 1503, he was educated privately by his grandfather, Jean de Saint Remy, until he was 15 years of age. The foundation of such an education is largely unknown, but he emerged to study at the University of Avignon as a very young intellectual. It was here he studied regular trivium of grammar, rhetoric, and logic. He was forced to leave Avignon when the university closed its doors during the outbreak of the plague. He then traveled the country for eight years experimenting and adapting herbal and hallucinogenic remedies. He stated this was to find a cure for the plague, but it is now thought that during this period of time, Nostradamus tapped into the Akashic record, possibly by accident and possibly deliberately. Either way, he was now armed with knowledge that given time, he would take the world by storm. In 1529, he entered the University of Montpellier to study for a doctorate in medicine. He was expelled shortly afterwards by the student procreator Guillaume Rondelet when it was discovered he had been slandering doctors. Simply put, he knew more than your average 16th century genius. He put himself centuries ahead of his time and could not only see the future, he now had abilities that could change the outcome of world events and even went as far as to create a pill that cured and protected against the Great Plague. This was the world's first known antibiotic, though a very mild form of antibiotic known as the Rose Pill. It worked with increased hygiene and a healthy lifestyle. This made him famous, but with terrible irony. His own wife and kids did not respond to the very treatment that helped so many and they perished in 1534. 
Nostradamus now turned himself as a prophet. He traveled again for years and found love again, and in 1550, he made his first set of predictions for the year 1550. He said these predictions were based on astronomical calculations and visions. What he had just described for the first time was in fact the Akashic Record. Five years later, he boldly began publishing long-term predictions for future events in order to avoid religious persecution in his own lifetime. He potentially avoided directly mentioning exact events for the sake of his family, but future generations drew connections with these publications to world events that have happened and are yet to occur. It's hard to understand that these events need to happen first in order for us to make the connection, but it doesn't take away from the fact he was visiting the great realm where the Akashic resides. In ancient Sanskrit, the word Akashic means sky or space collection of mystical knowledge that is encoded in the a non-physical plane of existence. The concept is prevalent in New Age discourse and is considered pseudoscience. The Akashic records are understood to have existed since the beginning of the creation and even before. Just as we have various specialty libraries, there are said to exist various Akashic records encoding universal lore. Most writings refer to the Akashic records in the area of human experience, but it is understood that all phenomenal experience as well as transcendental knowledge is encoded therein. Those who champion the truth of the Akashic records assert that they were accessed by ancient people of various cultures. It is held that the ancient Indian sages knew that each soul or entity recorded every moment of its existence in a book, and that if one attuned oneself properly, then one could access that book. Nostradamus claimed to have gained access to the Akasha, predicting all world events from his lifetime to the present day and even far beyond. Some theorize that he even predicted the Third World War would be started in a dispute between India and China in the year 2031. Believers in the Acacia make many claims about how widely the Acacia was used, including the claim that the Vedas of Hindu and the language itself was extracted from Acacia. Or the claim that in Egypt, those who could read the Acacia were held in high standing and would advise the pharaohs on daily activities and dream interpretation. And of course, the claim that the Druid cultures of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England demonstrated the ability to access the Acacia. And also the claim that the Bible refers to Acacic records as the book of life in both the Old Testament and the New Testament and Revelation 21, 27, where it reads, nothing impure will ever enter it, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. These records exist for all life. We are all part of it. It's crazy to think like this, but we can utilize it for the greater good of humanity and other life on the earth. But first we must achieve enlightenment. This is not so easy to achieve, especially with all the temptation that surrounds us within our civilization.